promotion and double double. Promotion double double. Promotion double double. Your money double double. Your business double double. Your health for double double. Your children double double. Your anointing double double.
clap your hands up, 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 clap your hands up. Somebody scream me now. Take it as high as you can. Come on, double, 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 double. Hey, my God is good, yo. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. 
Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Grant your faithful, we pray, Almighty God, the resolve to run forth to meet your Christ with righteous deeds at his coming, so that God at his right hand they may be worthy to possess the heavenly kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Lord God, your church joyfully awaits the coming of his Savior, who enlightens our hearts and disperses the darkness of ignorance and sin. Pour forth your blessing upon us as we light the candles of this wreath. May the light reflect the splendor of Christ, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. You, Lord, our Father, our Redeemer, you are named forever. Why do you let us wander, O Lord, from your ways, and harden our hearts so that we fear you not? Return for the sake of your servant, the tribes of your inheritance. O oh, that you were written in heaven and come down with the mountains quaking before you. While you wrought awesome deeds, we could not hope for it, such as they had not heard of from old. No ears have ever heard, nor eyes ever seen, any God but you, doing such deeds for those who wait for him. Would that you might meet us doing right, that we were mindful of you in our ways. Behold, you are angry, and we are sinful. All of us have become like unclean people. All of our good deeds are like polluting rags. We have all withered like leaves. And our guilt carries us away like the wind. There is none who calls upon your name who arouses himself to cling to you. For you have hidden your face from us and have delivered us up to our guilt. Yet, O oh Lord, you are our Father. We are the clay, and you are the potter. We are the works of your hands. The word of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Be to God. Son, Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face, and we shall be saved. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face, and we shall be saved. O shepherd of Israel, hearken from your throne upon the seraphim. Shine forth, rouse your power, and come to save us. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face, and we shall be saved. Once again, O Lord of hope, look down from heaven and see. Take care of this vine, and protect what your right hand has planted the Son of Man, whom you yourself made strong. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face, and we shall be saved. May you help be with the man of your right hand, with the Son of Man, whom you yourself made strong. Then we will no more withdraw from you. Give us new life, and we will call upon your name. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face, and we shall be saved. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. 
Brothers and sisters, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always on your account for the grace of God bestowed upon you in Christ Jesus, that in him you were enriched in every way, with all discourse and all knowledge, as the testimony to Christ was confirmed among you, so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift as you wait for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will keep you firm to the end, irreproachable on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, and by him you were called to fellowship with his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Show us, Lord, your love and grant us your salvation. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Be watchful, be alert. You do not know when the time will come. That is like a man traveling abroad. He lives home and blesses his servants in charge. Each with his own work, and orders the gatekeeper to be on the watch. Watch therefore. You do not know when the Lord of the house is coming, whether in the evening, or at midnight, or at cock crow, or in the morning. May he not come suddenly and find you sleeping. What I say to you, I say to all, watch. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Last Sunday, we did celebrate the solemnity of Christ, the universal King, which marks the end of the church's liturgical year. This Sunday, we mark the beginning of a new year. We celebrate the first Sunday of Advent. It is very symbolic that the church will put before us at the beginning and at the end, Jesus Christ. Within the first Sunday of Advent, we look forward to the birth of Jesus Christ. And in the last Sunday of, uh, of the church's liturgical year, we think about Jesus coming in as the universal king. What the church has in mind for doing that is for us to, to put Jesus as the beginning and the end of all that we do and say. Remember, this is more about time and space, but I think it's much more than that. It's more about you realizing that without Jesus, you can do nothing, absolutely nothing. It's about realizing that without Jesus being the most important thing in your life, you are just headed nowhere. <coughs> when you think about preparation, you know, Advent is all about looking forward to the birth of the Son of Man. When you think about preparation, what really comes to your mind? Let's begin from what we just celebrated last uh, Thursday. We have Thanksgiving. When people look forward to Thanksgiving, they begin to prepare because they know there will be turkey to be eaten and people make preparations, making the purchases that are necessary. People buy the things that will be used for cooking and they want it to be a great celebration. They don't want it to be a failure. 
the ones who do so well within that. And that marks our own desire to make it look good, to be a, to have the event be a success. Even when we have like parties or something, we start planning. And when we plan, we are simply desiring not to fail. We want to be a success. So when you think about preparing for the coming of Jesus, you also don't want to be a failure, you want to be a success. And so the question is, what do we need to do in order to be successful in the coming of Jesus? How do we prepare? What do we need to uh, uh, get ready so that the coming of Jesus will become a great success? The truth is that the Bible tells us today that he comes at a time we do not expect. So Jesus comes at a time we do not expect. Within time, he comes at Christmas. But outside of time, he comes at any time. Jesus comes at any time for any one of us. The day he comes to you is your own end. The day he comes to you is the day he's calling you to himself. And remember, when Jesus calls you to himself, your acts will speak for you. What you have done, how you have lived, your convictions, what you believe, and how you have lived out that belief. So, it's more about asking ourselves, what have I not done that I'm supposed to do to get ready for the coming of the Son of Man? How have I not prepared myself so that when He comes, you find me ready? It could be reconnecting with a family member. It could be finding a friend that you've not talked to for a long time. It could be learning to forgive somebody that you found very hard to forgive. It could be as little as that. But there has to be something that has to be done within you so that Jesus will find in you a place to dwell in. Remember, he comes to us not as a human. He comes to us as a spirit. And if he comes to us as a spirit, then he dwells within us. We are temples of the Holy Spirit. And so our house, or the house of God that is within us, will be our heart. If your heart is ready for him, then he will come to dwell with you. So what is it that you are required to do? Maybe go to confession. Talk about what you've done wrong. Reconcile with somebody. Show some love to somebody. That could be a way to prepare for the coming of Jesus. Nobody wants to meet him not prepared. So as we uh, celebrate this Mass today, let us ask for what we need to do to be prepared so that when he comes, we shall be joyful in following him. I, I remember in those days in the seminary, um, we normally have exams towards the end of the semester. Not like the American system that you have exams every, every week. Um, so when you have exams towards the end of the semester, an exam is coming, if you are prepared for the exam, you are joyful. If you are not prepared for the exam, your heart begins to palpitate. You are in trouble. So, if you hear that Jesus is coming and you are joyful, it means you have worked well. You prepared yourself. But if, if you begin to be afraid, it means you have spent your time doing all the unnecessary things. You spend your time doing everything but what you're supposed to be doing. So ask yourself, am I on the right track? Am I doing what I am supposed to do to prepare for his coming? If you are not doing it, then it's time to begin. If you've been doing it, then move on. Keep doing it so that when he comes, he will say to you, good and faithful servant, come to the kingdom prepared for you. May each and every one of us hear those words from Jesus the Savior when it comes to Carlos.
I believe in one God, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty maker, maker of heaven and earth, of the all things visible and invisible. I believe, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only God, 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 the Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God, God from God, light from light, true God, God true God, 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 begotten not made, consubstantial of the Father, through him all things are made, for us to him and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was the of the Virgin Mary, and became a man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and was seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge with him and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit. The Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son has joined and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and Catholic Church. Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We are the work of God's hands, and so now. We now call upon the name of our Lord who gives new life to all. For our church, led by Pope Francis, as we watch and wait for the Lord to renew this Advent season, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Pray. For peace within and among all nations, especially in the Middle East, Afghanistan, Ukraine, Africa, and Korea, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Pray. For those who continue to live in hunger after this week after Thanksgiving, especially young families and children, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we have praise. For all of those throughout the world, individuals and communities who suffer from HIV AIDS and its effects, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we have praise. For our own community of faith, as we prepare ourselves for the coming of the Lord, by learning and doing God's work among ourselves and in the world beyond these doors, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the success of our Family Life campaign and through our collective efforts, God may help us accomplish our goal. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all of the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all of our intentions, spoken and unspoken, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Lord, make us turn to you with all our hearts. Hear these are prayers. Let us see your face, and we shall be saved. We make this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Our offertory hymn is number 625 in the Lead Me, Guide Me, Give Me a Clean Heart.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May all our sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make, gathered from among your gifts to us. And may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation. And when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we will watch for that day, may he the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we we'll sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we are clad. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is you, promised in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to his setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, gracious to make holy, this gift we brought to you for consecration, that it may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection in ascension to heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Lord, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God. We blessed yourself as spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. 
May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis R. Pope and Jervaskis our Bishop, the other of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned here before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our other brothers and sisters, and to all who we are pleasing to you and are passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. Then we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, conformed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who says your apostles, peace I leave you, by peace I give you. Not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, for live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to each other this time of peace. Oh God, we take away the sins of the world.
body of
do have a special blessing for Elisha saying that Bologna has been celebrating 23 years of being together. So, uh, according to this come forward. <coughs> God is good all the time. and all the time. God is good. I know that many of you are here today. You, you know the reason why you are here. There are twofold reasons. One is we are joining this family to thank God for what God has done for them. On the day I was in distress, the Lord came to my help. God spared the life of Aloysius through a series of miracles which expand um, through several months and years. And so today, he is standing in this church for almost three years now. Is it two, three years? <laughs> two, three years, he has not come to Holy Cross. So let us welcome him back to Holy Cross again. And welcome, sir. We have been with you a lot. Even though you're wearing a mask, we understand. God is good, OK? Yes. So we now will ask Father uh, to Bless them for their marriage, and then we shall sing. Is there any song for anniversary? Do we have any song for anniversary? All right. Okay, so. By the way, the person performing this ceremony, his name is also for the pastor. And he's a younger brother to Apollonia. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made yeah. heaven and earth. Lord, increase and consecrate the love which Aloysius and Apollonia have for one another. The wedding rings they have exchanged are a sign of their fidelity. May they continue to prosper in the grace of the sacrament. As we thank you for your many blessings of a renewed life for Aloysius. We ask that you continue to be with him and to bless him with more life. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Conception, 
Monday, December the 8th, 2014, is the Feast of the Immaculate Conception. The Mass will be here at 6.30 p.m. World HIV AIDS Day. You are invited to attend the following HIV AIDS events in commemoration of the December 1st World AIDS Day. HIV AIDS Interfaith Service, Monday, December the 1st, Episcopal, Episcopal Church of Resurrection, 2200 Justin Lane at 7 p.m. HIV AIDS Stations of the Cross, Friday, December the 5th, 6 p.m. here at Holy Cross Catholic Church. HIV AIDS Rosary, Sunday, December the 7th, 9.15 a.m. HIV AIDS Mass Liturgical Dance, Sunday, December the 7th, 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. Of course, those last three will be here at Holy Cross Catholic Church. Bible study. Wednesday night Bible study group will meet this coming week. The group will resume at 6 p.m. Wednesday, December 3rd in Weber Hall. Any guests or visitors this evening? Everybody's welcome. So keep on. Yeah, um, as we continue to join your family, uh, Mr. Kerrick and uh, Apollonia, we want to thank God for his grace for you and for bringing you back here and for all the events that are taking place in your life in which God has proven to us that he's always alive and ready to grant us healing and peace. And so I know that you have rejoices today, and uh, as you celebrate, it is fitting to give honor to God and glory to His Holy Name. So we are happy to be with you and to join you. As I said at the beginning, welcome back again. Okay? Uh, so for all those who have come, by that mass is very strange to you. And I see somebody <laughs> coming almost to it of you. So I, you gotta come back tomorrow because I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> You, you are here today because of Apollonia's uh, activity. If 10 o'clock mass is empty tomorrow, you will see me in your house. <laughs> Amen? Yeah. But I'm happy to see you this many people you know, uh, coming to uh, be with you. And uh, so, my usual announcements, this is December. I went and checked how much um, we have collected already for our project. And I realized that we need to hit about 260,000 or so this, at the end of this year. And we have not even reached uh, 200, uh, 200. So I'm reminding you, as I said last time, I will be making this announcement until uh, the end of Christmas. So if you don't like it, you better go and get some uh, earpiece in it. <laughs> because I'll be, I'll be talking about it. You know, if I don't, then I'll be troubling. So I asked you, I said last week, if you're making your budget, money cost is 50%. I still repeat it, and I have prayed about it, and I thank God is with me in this uh, you know, prayer. So I will only keep on adding so that it will be real, because I believe in one thing. When you say, this is what I'm going to do for God, He gives you the means of accomplishing it, okay? So it is my prayer for you that as you rejoice and, and uh, uh, celebrate this Christmas, you will have abundant blessing. And Holy Cross will share in that blessing. Amen? Amen. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. So I want to uh, give um, this mic to my brother. You know, this is the probably maybe the first uh, time many of you have uh, uh, been here with two Father Basils in the celebrating mass. Why don't you clap for us, please? You know? I want to say something about Father When I was going to Missouri um, sometime this uh, year, and I had a flat tire on the road, and there was one of my friends, one of my former classmates, Brendan is his name, and I called Brendan, and Brendan said, you know, Basil is, is very close to you. I said, really? I don't have his number. Could you please give it me? So he called Basil, and Basil called me, and uh, we talked about it, and uh, he offered me some assistance through 
remote assistant, by the way. And then we met where I was there because one of our sisters was celebrating her 25th anniversary. And I said, look, you are coming to Holy Cross in, in November. And so uh, here is it today. So please, can you all say thank you for this? Soon and very soon. 